Game of Thrones fans, welcome back to the channel. It is time to watch something rated JG with me, John G. Rick's here for this Game of Thrones reaction. Uh, another cast remembers time. Uh, Liam Cunningham playing Sir Davos Seaworth, the Onion Knight. Uh, Liam Cunningham, I mean, I loved Sir Davos in this show. He's a lovable character. He's a relatable character. And he's just an awesome character in this uh, series. I mean, he's a character that isn't from this big house. Uh, he's playing the Game of Thrones. He's helping certain houses. Um, and he's just a lo very lovable, honest character. Um, and uh, one of the greatest advisors in Game of Thrones. One of the greatest hands in all of Westeros. So let's take out what he had to say about his role as playing Sir Davos. The other way. You ever been in a boat before? No. You know how to swim? No. Don't fall out. <laughs> I'd love doing that, sir. You just paid my king, your father, and now I'm paying the price. I don't care. You're my friend. Shireen Baratheon. I had a couple of scenes with Shireen that I loved doing. The most oh, the Shireen scenes were the best. Physically damaged. Oh my gosh. She hasn't had any love in her life, certainly from uh, her mother and father. And to have her level of humanity uh, and decency and cleverness and brightness. He had some deep scenes. As an equal. And I, I really like that aspect of the relationship that they had. You're late. I thought you weren't coming. In a sense, they're almost like a husband and wife. Yeah, which is <laughs> the funny part. She and scolds him and points him in the direction. You'll never read well if you move your lips. That's how children do it. And they're obviously drawn to each other. I mean, I, I think in a sense, Davos would most definitely be looking for a replacement for the son that he loved and lost. True. Very true. He gets deep with Davos. It really does. That was one of the most bizarre things I've ever filmed. Mel the Melisandre scene? Oh my gosh. This is when the show the changed the game. Because besides the dragons, it was like one of the other few moments where oh, magic was really being brought in. I'm seeing this beautifully lit picture of, um, of Carice uh, in this very strange setting and position. And I was struck at how uh, much like a, a Caravaggio it was, like a Renaissance painting. It was regarded when I was seen as one of the bizarrest things I've ever seen on television. Yeah, it was a pretty bizarre I agree. film as well, I can tell you. I shouldn't imagine I'd be filming anything like that ever again in my life. I am going to miss the ensemble nature uh, of doing what we're doing. It's the ensemble that I miss. The, the, the ensemble. Everyone that, misses it. Everyone has been, has been saying that they're going to hate it. Every day was a joy coming in on this, you know, apart from being up at four o'clock in the morning and and your waterproof socks letting in and your <laughs> it's not it's definitely unglamorous. <laughs> it ain't the Caribbean. It's been extraordinary. Any actor worth his salt would like to be in something that is the highest quality possible. This show will be discovered by generations to come. It's timeless. Magnificence! It's just—it's just glorious. It was great fun. Very true. Did a lot of laughing. It was wonderful, wonderful time. The Onion Knight. Cool. Hey, uh, Liam Cunningham, Sir Davos. What a great role, and what a perfect actor to find for that role. Game. I mean, they did so well getting these people. There's not too many characters that I can think of that just doesn't fit the role for their character it's very hard it's very tough so the casting that they did was magnificent davos is another character liam cunningham i couldn't imagine another character playing davos yet i want to say thank you for your role and the great job you did on this series that like you said is going to be timeless and that's going to be just something that's going to be watched for decades so let me know what you guys thought about Sir Davos, the Onion Knight, did you love him as much as I did? Because I definitely did. And hey, we'll see you guys around.
I do these reactions all the time. So if you want to see new stuff, if you want to see news reactions on TVs, movies, and Game of Thrones stuff too, I'll be doing a lot more Game of Thrones stuff. You can check it out. Have a good one. Oh,